Well, here we are, folks. We are in the game. Inferno on deck to start things off here between Payne and ATK. And ATK spent a little extra time in spawn, making sure they got their utility straight. And they've dropped quite a bit of it. A couple flashes, smoke, and a nade. And here they're moving early on. Ninth on one of the bedroom peak, and he will get bedroom punched in the face by bullets. The worst kind of punch, John. <laughs> Indeed. And uh, while he backs off towards that A site, flashbang is going to come in. Utility as well for ATK. Nekiz is going to engage there towards lane, and he's going to get forced off. ATK have moved their way in. No frags to speak of just yet, and here they come, blowing on through in favor of Payne. They got three, only one in response, and Bowden's the last one standing. He does manage to drop Nekiz, but that might be his only frag here because he's Payne stuck. Gaming are waiting on the site with them. Yeah, he's stuck here in the pit, right? It's such a great position in the post plant, but if the bomb's not planted... Oh, yeah. it's tough to get on out. PKL will put him down, giving him no time to fret. That's going to be Pain Gaming taking a handy pistol. Positioning looked good for ATK, right? They find the damage yeah. early on. They've got the right read. They get so close on up, and then they just go into the jaws of pain. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Indeed. <laughs> Two. Our second round of play here. ATK, I mean, if you look at their recent stats on Inferno, it's actually a bit deceiving because uh, they're 8 and 13 over the last few months, but minus 30 round differential. As Big is just going to farm the frags here towards Banana, Swisher, and Mistim go down. Only pistols, of course. ATK not choosing to go for the Forest Bias since they didn't get the bomb plant. Nithon should have another one here, and does. No trade either, and that's pretty much done and dusted. But yeah, as I was saying, Mike, uh, the recent stats, not so great, but it actually is a really good map for ATK. So it wouldn't surprise me if they put up a very strong fight here. They do need to, realistically. Oh, yes. There's no question. I mean, if they can't take it here on Inferno, Vertigo is such a comfortable map for Pain. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, Pain has the luxury of being exceptionally strong on three maps right now. Mm. Nuke, Vertigo, and Dust2. If you combine all three, their record of the last three months is 34 and 11 with a plus 180 round differential. So, yeah, it's scary. I mean, you got to ban something, and ATK chose... I believe it was Nuke, but eventually uh, you're going to have to be off against one of those big three. Yeah. They've got a versatile enough map pool that there really is no easy place to play them. In front of, uh, they've looked more lackluster, less dynamic than they normally do, I would say. Yes. At least early well, on, uh, this round's going to be a big test, right? There's still a bunch of utility available here. PKL's got the molly. That's going to be important. As the hit actually does come through, Ooh, they want to flower pots boost this. They've left MOTM alone wonder whether he read the audio because pkl did give a hop but otherwise there was no other cue the timing of that nade the yes. timing of that nade nithon has no idea about the damage he's just done but he has just wrought havoc within their ranks and now they're thinking about this they're like all right well we do want to flood back in but health nobody is healthy at this point <laughs> hold the knockdown quite low and now they got to be careful not to get caught by these bullets of Nithon. A timely moto smoke is going to slow them down and bunch of these players up. ATK need to find a kill. They need to alleviate some pressure somehow because they're, they're right on the precipice of a sight hit. They haven't gone in yet. And everybody's rotating. They're not leaving anything in reserve on the pain side. They've moved everybody in. Is PKL going to get caught? He does indeed, but he gets a kill first. And that's so important. Now Neck is from the pit, somehow doesn't die there, turning around, and he's able to get one more. Beautifully done from Pain. ATK got right on the precipice of a sight hit and just got stopped in their tracks. I think what helped a lot, though, was the utility damage that was done before ATK actually got their execute going because almost all of them were at half health, and afterwards they were easy targets. I can't believe Neck gets the first one uh, in that engagement towards mini pits, but afterwards grabs the AK instantaneously and finds a follow-up. So good job by Pain. Great positioning, even though in terms of firepower, their weaponry was a little inferior to the AKs. It still worked out for them, and now ATK probably calling a timeout here i didn't confirm it yet but i would only assume they'd be the ones to call this because pain have absolutely everything going their way nothing has gone wrong for them just yet tech nines and glory 
Well, TM's got armor behind that. Sure. They could put they could put four tech nines here. Save a little extra cash on missed him. He's got enough utility to already set this up, right? Try and uh, burst your way in towards the site and tech nine some players down. It's a classic, John. It's a classic. It is indeed. I mean, especially on Inferno. Uh, uh, yep. Seems like we might be getting a medic through here. Oh. Yeah, this is this is not a tactical type pause type thing. All right, so apparently there's okay. There's a dispute potentially. They're figuring things out, but while we get that resolved, well, we might just take a quick little break. We'll see you in a flash.
Thanks for bearing with us there, folks. The scoreline is actually 3-0 to zero after that um, delay. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, we should be into the action here. All is resolved. Player dropped out and uh, took a minute to get the medic done. So, damage on in early on here. MOTM's not feeling so good. And he, much like uh, Peter Parker, has just vaporized into nothingness. Let's see if he comes back in five years. Nice kill through from PKL. Another one to follow it up. There's just really nothing doing here, but a gripper of a shot with a 2 HP Fady. Well posed a question for about two seconds. What is going on with your bullet pen? Yeah, there we go. Good old wireframe bullets there for a second. There no, they're still there. They're still there. <laughs> Shenanigans have, have taken yeah. place in the server. Not sure why, but yeah. Either way, uh, good job I paint. Suffice to say, shutting down ATK, who will come back here with their full-on buy-up with the 4AKs and the AWP. But Pain Gaming are surprisingly comfortable here in the early goings. Maybe that win against Furia was the spark they needed to find more success on this map because, I mean, it really felt like they were just running through the paces when we saw them last time, even against Unjustified. They continue to do the exact same strats or the exact same openers every single time, in particular on their T side, in terms of utility usage, to, regardless of what, um, what was being thrown at them by Unjustified. So we'll have to wait and see if that's changed here. Of course, they're still on CT side, but... That said, promising start. Oh, MOTM full blinded out. He's going to be cleared out as we continue to get the bullet penetration marks. We're just going to make it very interesting visually here, folks. But we're uh, we're on an adventure together here. We're on an adventure together. Um, but the end result is the same. It's an opening pick here for paint. Utility usage again. Fady caught out by the porch. He's dropped. There's nothing that he could do about that one. And Nithon from the graveyard wow. adds a couple more bodies to the graves. Shut down immediately here for ATK into their gun round. They get nothing mm -hmm. realistically going. A faint amount of damage on the neck is it just doesn't matter. And these two players are completely isolated now, John. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of an opening here at the B site, right? But it's being reinforced. There was a moment where you thought, okay, if Mistim pushed through the smoke now, he could get a frag onto PKL and open up that B site. But now that Big Uzera is coming to support as well. Each player is isolated with a very tough fight, regardless of where they go. And the time's against them. 17 seconds left. They might just opt to save what they've got. And that is exactly the call. Five to nothing for pain. And they have really shut ATK out of every bomb site they've tried to get into. That's uh, going to be a really, really rough save too, right? Because now you're yeah. in this terrible situation where you're going to force buy around these. It's going to sit you back one further with an imperfect buy. You can actually get a pretty decent run 
around these two players. So that's presumably what they'll do. Empty the pocketbooks and go on in. But then you've got to get the money even. So if it doesn't work out in this next round, then you're staring at seven rounds down before you get things uh, fully healthy. Yeah, another timeout. And up. we've had a timeout. But this seems like an actual timeout as opposed to uh, an everything's broken timeout. Knock on wood. Yes, it is an ATK timeout. <laughs> it's just a normal timeout as far as we can tell. Just want to talk things over. Oof. Look, uh, a lot of the time they rely on MOTM to get those entries on their T side. In fact, 31% of the time he's going for entries with a good success rate of 52.1%. But here, not a single frag on the board. So hopefully he'll start making some noise here for the ATK squad. His neck is going to toss him all top right down the middle. Big Zera waiting at Banana. And here comes the utility from Payne, which is very good so far. And it keeps ATK completely at bay. Not only that, Payne are going to push up quite aggressively here down Banana to gain some fourth position. Nithon gets a spot there. That's Fady going through the apartments, and Fady will walk on by, but that's still information gained from Pain. Not sure where the hit's going to come at the end of the day since the bomb's still at the bottom of T ramp here, but ATK are showing a lot of presence towards it. Oh, here comes the swing. Right on the edge of the smoke. Is Swisher going to give it away? No, the smoke does cover. Benekis is looking for this in hard house. going to come back in as well. Time could be rough here, but that's a good couple of kills. It works out beautifully for ATK as the smoke fade. Now Nighton's caught in the open, Oof. and he can only get one before he's pinched. And this round is over. ATK are on the board, so that awkward force by works out beautifully for them. They had to make it work here, or their, the pit they were digging was going to get even deeper. And instead... They climb right out of it. This is a huge round to win for ATK, and it all hung on those initial shots as the smokes fade. Payne committed to the crossfire, and instead they both dropped. Yeah, I mean, they got four of their five frags in the map so far in this round, so that's good. That's good. Nice to see some signs of life there from the ATK squad. PKL last one standing. He's just going to save the AK. Lots of money here for Payne, but the AK save does make sense, sense in particular for him because uh, only 3,200 at the bottom of the scoreboard in the cash mm. department. But yeah, no, uh, great execute from ATK. Entries towards lane, got those first two frags, and after that, they cruise to the bomb site. So now let's see. Out of the biggest danger zone but as we said before plenty of cash means that uh, paint's coming right back in for another crack at this one be curious to see if they set up as aggressively if the bracket play comes through so he players towards b initially be able to dump that util if needed or actually hard is just going to leave it which is how <laughs> most teams are playing this now yes yes it does really add a different wrinkle because even if there's extra nades you can't reliably predict that someone's going to be close Bowden tries to get ahead of the utility and instead he gets himself straight into an op bullet that's a rough loss to take early on atk down a man with no banana presence as well they are sectioned into a small area of the map paint game gonna go pretty passive off of that initial pick settle back in towards the site play it comfortable I'm going to find in there from Moto towards Arch. Excuse me, yeah, Arch. Yeah, Swisher's waiting there. Swisher, by the way, I think arriving in Mexico today like, to join the rest of the team. Oh, so is he? Get taken down by Ethan. Yes, he was on a flight to Mexico. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. We're playing together. Love to see it. I've got a team house down there in Monterey, if I'm not mistaken. That's what a lot of the teams play from these days. Those who uh, maybe you can't get into the US so reliably. Good spot to be. Good base of operations. Yeah, no doubt. That's where the Godsend boys are. Uh, I think that's where Pain is as well. Actually, I, I know that's where Pain is as well. So, there we go. Oh, playing a local land practically. Missed him with a delete shot. They are going to get the site. They are going to get this plant, but how are they going to be able to hang on to it? That's going to be the true challenge, the true test. The Guzera close at hand. Teammates coming in to support a two on four, a tough play and fade he has to make the move and he's not watching for the flank he's just giving them the slip but well 
It's between a rock and a hard place, and neither one's terribly appetizing. MBTM has been spotted. They know he's here at the new box. There's only so much he can do to try and hold them off, try and hold them at bay, and <laughs> trying to get ahead of the fight. He will find the AWP of Nithon. Defuse on pain right back on the board. I mean, that was a great entry from Mistum to take the B site and get the bomb plant, but after that, pain just dismantled the post plant. That last shot, just uh, you see MOTM jiggle peeking around the corner, but it was enough for Nithon to drop him. And Nithon's up to six here. As, uh, well, so are Payne. Six to one in their favor, isolating the round victory for ATK, but ATK still have enough cash to bring a full-on buy up into this one. In fact, Mike, you do not see this very often on Inferno. Double off setup coming through for ATK. Yeah, that's weird on the T side. Very unusual. To me, I, I'd be curious to ask them about it, but it does feel like one of those moves you make when nothing's working, right? I mean, if you look at their score lines, it tells the story. No one's got more than two kills. Uh, it's pretty rough, pretty abysmal to this point. Nick is, is going to make it worse. From on top of the porch, he rains down bullets, and they've not got an umbrella. Now it's the double ops trying to take a sight, right? One rifler remaining, and that's this the is the situation where it's just so rough. Maybe if you can get to a post plant with the ops up, that's fine. But I don't know about this one, Chief. This is why uh, players do not often like to I mean, just, just, just run the single op. Exactly. On this map. Side. And they are just going to get massacred. The heavy investment gets them nothing. Bowden is going to try and save for a minute with an AWP. And the weirdest thing is, ATK aren't necessarily a team that go for the double up in general. So I'm not sure what prompted that call, if it was a misbuy or something. But wow, uh, very strange indeed. As Bowden might get chased out here and if he loses the shot their money's in tatters wow. and he will what a shot from neck is he's got the 3k on the round and pain gaming are up seven to one another timeout being called here by atk i believe and i mean uh, yeah it's not going well mike they just peeked into him top rackets right and he wasn't blind he wasn't he, there wasn't anything to make him uncomfortable from on top of the porch no. he just kills both they just swing him and there's enough spacing between that they're not really threatening him with the with the players either so and I think he had a player below him uh, it, under the porch. So there was just, there was, even if they kill Nekis, it's not getting better. Not to mention it was a weird play to make early on in the round when you have two ops. Usually when you're going for two ops, at least wait for picks, right? Post someone up mid, yeah. post someone up banana, wait for yeah. someone to peek and then go off of that. Maybe some concerning signs for ATK here early on. Obviously, again, it is feeling a bit hopeless for them. I'm sure they're feeling it within the server. The pressure on pain has just been yeah. smothering them to this point. Toms in. Comfortable setup for pain. Just a little peeky poo from heart out. Just a, just a little peeky poo. We'll see if you couldn't <laughs> get the kills early and just really make it disheartening for the squad. But no. This is very much business as usual for pain. They really haven't done anything that interesting, which is one of the reasons why we don't always love their Inferno, is that it is somewhat predictable. Yeah. But if predictable is working, if vanilla is working, why mix in another flavor? You know? Oh, okay, <laughs> missed him. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should be watching Arch. Smokes are not walls, folks. Smokes are not walls. Big Guzera's fortunately on the spot, so it's not gonna be a huge issue. And they catch Fady trying to slip into the site. But this could get dangerous. This could get a little messy. Graveyard, what's gonna happen here from Hard Sal? a little awkward and he's okay. actually taken down so here we go here's the site here's the tank there's the bodies on the floor and somehow some way atk are making this round work but it's not over yet they get the bomb plant out of oh, it Bush is about to eat this he no nope, oh. he's dodged it he's gone away from it, it. Missed. he needs the shot he needs to be perfect here but Gazera now knows his location he's got him hemmed in swisher just trying to play the headshot angles flashbang out he be the hero here no oh. big guzera instead pulls that back around that never should have been in question no for pain is recovered and that comes down i don't know what was going on with nithon but uh he trusted his smoke way too much <laughs> He That's did. what allowed them in. I mean, it was a wicked shot from Mistum, right? He came around the sure. corner and just insta-dinked him with the Tech-9, but still, uh, yeah, I don't know what was going through his mind. Loved the play from ATK off of that initial frag. They immediately stormed into the bomb site, and the utility was good, too, because it created a bit of a, a little bit of chaos um, on the pain gaming side, because even the pit player couldn't really peek around it, because the smoke was guising off his vision completely, and then they were able to isolate both fights at Moto and Pit and get that bomb planted. So good money gained from ATK. They use that to invest 
fully here into the 4 a case in the off and on Payne's side well they did manage to sneak out of that round and they already have quite a cushion built up for themselves so they're not too worried yet. You know, I think if you're Rix, their coach, uh, that's probably like the ideal way for that round to have gone in a weird sense. Obviously not for the actual pure raw game. You'd rather just stomp them. They never get a bomb play. Right. But if you're going to almost lose a round and then pull it back, this isn't a bad time to do it to remind your players, hey, you know, we're stomping them, but this could come back the other way. That's true. Let's not get complacent here. They can still rip our heads with tech nines. Let's make sure we're being disciplined. Let's make sure we're covering our spots. Let's make, let's make sure we're calming and that we're not letting players cheekily slide in towards the site. So maybe, maybe like a blessing in disguise here type of situation. Guess we'll have to see if ATK can build on the momentum off that bomb plant. <sighs> Thing is, they already lost their first player. Fate this is, is true. Fady has been uh, dying a lot early. Well, he is typically a player they'll send on the entry as well, so it's not surprising that he's dying early. It's just unfortunate he's not finding some success. Yeah, or, you know, that they're they're committing with him. Something, Something. seems Something. to be Canary in the coal mine kind of thing right now. And Well, Canary's not faring so well. PKL's burning. Oh, he gets away. Wondering what barbecue pickle tastes like right now. But here's going to come the hit, and they're not expecting him to be here as a result. Big Uzera dancing around new box. Oh, he's so good. Oh, he's so good. He's good for it again. Bowden going to try and back away with that AWP. How many times has this happened now? And they've just been left saving on the T side because they get absolutely disintegrated while trying to get in towards the site. And that was a really late take, too. Not much down. time left on the clock. I think oh, he'll he got survive. Away. Yeah, he got away. Got the op at least out of that round, and they'll be able to buy around it. Thing is, he only has four hundred dollars left, so someone's gonna have to either drop a utility or he's gonna have to settle for a flashbang, <laughs> maybe a smoke. Either way, Pain Gaming are dominating at this point. They've got firepower across the board, and Big Uzera is flexing as he usually does. Surprisingly, hearts out. Not sure if that's accurate, but zero kills. So <laughs> only two. I, I think he may have disconnected, reconnected. Yeah, um, it has to. Be. Or he's just chilling, right? Yeah, he's just like, you know what, guys? I don't want to hold my mouse. I'll move into position and throw some util. <laughs> But then I'm just going to let you guys win. And uh, you let me know if you need me later on. He's just uh, he's chilling. He's kicking his feet up. I, I mean, Five. They're all so good right now. And I've said this before, right? Even when Safe mm -hmm. was there, um, it's such a strong squad that it appeared as though Safe was carrying them. But it's just that he was taking care of the brunt of the frags and the rest of the team didn't necessarily have to commit to a lot of fights. So, yeah, now that they are, you've seen the skill level of the squad and more. PKL's gonna get the headshot on to miss him, and he's fully blinded. Sarah pitches in to get one, but only okay. one. That's a good All entry. Right. That's All a right. bomb. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Time to get excited. Bowden Master. Putting some work in with that AWP. Swisher and Bowden. This this could be something, John. This could be a round from nowhere. Oh my goodness. Bowden Master putting in work here. It's all gonna be on an Ithon now. He's coming back in with a tech and an AWP. He has you though does have that but does he want to give away his position the nade to find it that actually could just take Bowden out of play but he puts it deep into the corner Bowden's hiding the pillar so now he's coming around now he's got the right idea now he's got the op shot and that's his third boom there we go kills come through a second round on the board for ATK and I was actually just about to talk about it but this is a perfect time too that op that Bowden's using it's a souvenir op he unboxed it. I don't know if you saw on Twitter the other day, John. But uh, oh yes, I did. Yeah. He unboxed a Desert Hydra from one of the one of the I, uh, major drops. It made me open about five in hopes that I got the same. You one. have a problem, my friend. Maybe. <laughs> you have a problem. I like unboxing and counter Oh, the flashes, the aggression from Hardzow. He's just destroyed them before they can even oh, get started. No. Straight down mid, a timely flash off his teammate. Now, Nython is chasing it further in towards all. They're so confident. They're like, you won a round? You won one? Oh, yeah? Try and do another. Try and get one more. Try and change together. We're going to shut you down before you can even throw your initial salvo of util. What a devastating start to this round. Just full disrespect from pain. Ooh. And yeah, Hardzow might get collected by that nade. But you know what? They're not getting out of spawn. There's a lot of time left, Mike, but you're right. <laughs> Nekaz is going to take down Bowden, and Swisher is the last one standing in this 1v4. There's a minute and two seconds left on the clock, so Swisher can try something, but be surprised if he found anything at all. And, yeah, it'd be uh, a shocker. Yeah. 
I just paint. See, this is the thing for pain. This used to be their bread and butter, right? They used to be super aggressive almost all the time. It was what they were known for, um, even on Inferno, right? They would charge mm -hmm. down mid. It wasn't something unusual. Now that's their change up pitch because, like you were mentioning, they go to a very, they've gone to a very vanilla style. I do again wonder, to some degree, obviously, if that's a, a stylistic choice that they've made where they 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 want to, especially in these matches where they're confident, put that on tape. I always do wonder. Obviously, ACK is a tough opponent, right? It's not. This is not normally a situation where we'd see Pain taking it lightly. But they're about to head over to uh, to to compete in Europe, right? Mm -hmm. And ahead of that, putting some things on tape that maybe make you look really vanilla, not the worst thing in the world. I'm not saying that's necessarily the it's... idea. I, I may be giving them too much credit on this one. Swisher didn't give them enough credit because he's dead. Um, <laughs> It's a very forward-thinking strategy, Mike. I'm not sure if they're, right? they're that 10, far ahead. IQ, man. Yeah. Oh, Swisher got clocked. I didn't even realize he got killed right as time expired. He's been clocked, John. He's got no money. That was literally just a as second. It hit. Yeah, yeah, that's it... why they hesitated. Because I was wondering. The player was around the corner, right? And I thought maybe they're trying to go for a cheeky knife. But they literally waited for this last second to tick off. And then they clocked him. That's so painful for atk i mean this is <laughs> this is just like the nightmare game nothing is going right for them yeah the, apart from the one round where Bowden gets the 3k with the awp and the i would say the round where they sneak through with pistols get the bomb plant bring it down to a 1v1 apart from that just denied in yeah. every one of these rounds well they've already used three of their timeouts and it's only the first half so you can see that they're trying to talk through this, trying to find a way past this very suffocating defense. But so far, like you mentioned, only a couple of moments to look back on and say, yeah, at least we've got something. Hardzow going to toss a Molotov down mid, and this time, Pain Gaming are going to go more past. We flashbang sort of support cards out to peek around that corner, but now he's going to back off our side now as well. They're going to leave it up to Neck is from, uh, from Truck, excuse me, to try and get some damage done. And he does do a little bit towards Swisher, but at the end of the day, he will fall off as well. And Pain is just waiting for ATK to make the play instead, not forcing the issue, which is wise, because those pistols can be very scary if you are um, not careful. Ooh, they jump down. And they're out. Utility was chasing them. They want to know part of that. They're going to funnel back around, hoping that they pull the rotation. And they have indeed. It's going to be on to PKL. And PKL might be the Oh, yeah, they're past him. Oh, uh-oh. Only gets one and drop. That should be a bomb plant wow. and a rifle retreat. Missed him. Is in towards tree. No, he's actually just gotten the gun and backed out. Bomb down. This is going to be huge. Nice on so lethal, even just with a B250, clears them out of banana immediately and already eliminates that first plant position. Fady trying to get aggressive with it, knowing it needs to make something happen here. You can see the spatter of bullets around him, looking Ooh. like a modern art piece, but now he's all on his lonesome. Yes, he's found one, but he needs to do so much more. Thank you, it's just shoulder in for him, just checking for it, just checking for the peak, and his teammates can get on the defuse. There's nothing that can be done about this, and as Fady swings to deny, he is shut down pain gaming are just so deadly even when you catch them off even when yeah. you have them on the numbers the recovery is just so swift i really admire that play from pain just keeping the attention on towards ct neck is peeking around the corner back and forth knowing his teammates are setting up to get that defusal and well i mean once fady realizes what's going on behind him as he turns around there's someone waiting for him saying hello Got some bullets with your name on it, and that's going to be an 11th round for Pain Gaming. Domination up to this point. Round number 14, ATK with that full loss bonus, are able to buy up along with the bomb plant, four AKs in the off, but even the full buys have been rebuffed by Pain time and time again. They're going to go for this spam through the smoke, and ATK... Well, they're not necessarily going down banana just yet. Flashbang going to be thrown here so they can peek towards a site. Oh, no. Nearing into That's the apartments. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, he's not dead this time. He's lucky to be alive. Yeah, poor Fady has just gone straight into the gauntlet every time he tries to take some space. This time he lives limping. To be fair, the pressure's gonna be on for Hearts out. They're gonna push him. They're gonna pressure him. Oh yeah. And he's gonna have to back away. He's gonna fold in towards the site. They're gonna try and reinforce here, but they need to be careful. Fady's still a threat in the balcony. 
come through. That's a huge kill. And I thought a second as well. Yes, Fudzal will get his pound of flesh, but now he's isolated on the site, and Fady can clean that up. A man advantage for ATK in a post plant? Is there such a thing? Is this legal? Is this allowed? <laughs> Pigazera says absolutely not. Let's see if he can uh, even up the numbers, even the score. Fady could get caught here. He's making a big assumption about where they're going to go. And PKL is now playing into it. Could have had the backstab. He's shifting his way through. Got kits, obviously. Bigu has this bit of utility. KL has found Fady. There's the cleanup. Now it's even numbers. Now they're going to move on in. They're making their motion. They know where Bowden is. Come at a great cost. Was MOTM spotted? The health was there. But he's gotten past. PKL has no idea. He should be shot in the back here. There's no way. There's no time. MOTM even plays it safe just to make sure. And while he will not survive, he has secured at the least a third round. Oh, man. The timing in MOTM's favor there, sort of, right? Because if he had just waited a little bit longer, he would have spotted PKL for free. But at the end of the day, what matters is ATK get a third round on the board. And one important part of that is how they took arch side control. They exploded outwards. Hardzell wasn't expecting it. And if he repeats, he's dead to rights and he knows it. So he has to fall back. And once they gain all that space, they're allowing Swisher to get a couple of entries. And even though Hardzell does fall off to get a couple, by that point, there's still three ATK members left alive, they get the bomb plant, and A site and Inferno is one of the most difficult to retake on CT side, especially when you're a man down, and you saw that there. Although Pain definitely gave it a good run. Anyway, 1.30 left on the clock, 15th and final round of play in this first half of action as the Molotov is going to force Pain back off of Banana, so ATK will win the utility fight, at least the early one. As Neck is as his eyes set on the apartments where Fady could be coming out shortly. Flashbang's going to get thrown, so that will give away Nick as his position. Did he see the head of Fady? He did, and he's going to get that headshot, no questions asked. 5v4 early for Pain. He still got this position towards brackets, but they're going to give it up. They're going to give it up. They're going to focus in towards B. A smoke's just come down. Should hold this take for a little bit. Is there another? Yes, there is. PKL's got another smoke. They're going to have to go through a smoke one way or another. Time's just going to get too short. That HE could be chunky. Mm, and indeed Ooh, yeah. it is. That's a painful one for ATK. They've fully committed to this. They've given up all control elsewhere. And Nekis has gotten out of the apartment. So they have to go for this B take. 35 seconds on the clock. Three players here to set up. More HEs coming in. The red bars chunking them down. And it's a massacre. They'll never even get started as Big Uzera picks them apart and sends us to the half.
Pain Gaming making swift work of ATK in the first half. Keep us on our schedule here, John. Uh, or at least close to it. Because we'll see if they can close things out swiftly. A pistol round would go a long way to doing that. We'll really leave ATK with virtually no options. They go light on B early. Better util, but only one player. And it's missed him without armor either, John. This could be rough if Pain calls that bluff. And they might be. Yeah, they are. Oh, they have a flash here to go through this? They have no. a couple. They have a decoy. Yeah, but it's not close. It's not close at hand. Now a third player groups up. Okay. This is going to be there spicy. If they just challenge the smoke, because the smoke's going to come down. If they challenge it, ATK are really in a tough spot here. Smoke goes. And Payne not going to challenge it. So that works out. The bluff works not out for yet. ATK. They'll wait on the fade. There's no rotate coming in. They're going to go for the, the multi-man push down mid instead, and now they've been caught. That's a dink early. That's a kill from Nython. What? He's so deadly. Just popping around with the Glock in the sewers like a ninja turtle. And he might as well be oh, throwing oh, shurikens. In the meantime, they've taken out Mistim with an HE. They've got the sight. This hit is already successful. And they still got this control here. Yes, Nython gets cleaned up, but it just doesn't matter. That bomb is down. And this is a terrible situation for ATK on the retake. <laughs> Fady deleted, erased, Bowden to follow. Swisher is low, and he's got a 1v4 with no health. He's got to be the god gamer right now, and he has found the first. Looking for the second as well. Taps coming through. Nine bullets in that USP, but he can't connect with them all. And that'll be that. That'll be pain gaming, taking the pistol round. That's such a good setup from Pain, you know, having two players stacked up on the coffins, one on top, one on the bottom, and imagine peeking into that. There's just nothing you can do. It's over uh, as soon as you come around that corner, unless you hit perfect headshots. Even if you do, you hit the perfect first one. There's no guarantee you'll be able to get the second because they're just such a good position to be holding. 13-3 to three in favor of Pain and ATK, as you mentioned, the gamble not paying off on that A site. They had four players there, and in the end, I mean, Nython catches a wicked Glock headshot to secure the frag on the player that got over aggressive for its mid. And ATK could never gain the space. Now Hartzau is going to get the opening frag here. Missed him trying to do damage. Just can't get out <laughs> anything, Mike. And PKL oh. will take him down. Swish is alone on the B site now. He's got reinforcements coming in the form of Bowden. And the smoke is guising off vision for the time being. But Payne doesn't have to force the issue. But through the smoke, oh Nithon catches Bowden. I think there was a gap around the smoke that revealed Bowden's positioning. And it's all over. Only Fady left him. Saw his arms. Ooh, nice shot from Fady, but it won't matter. PKL gets the last one, and that's a quick 14th for Payne. Talk about blind fire. In that round, PKL <laughs> gets a kill full whited where he's just holding down Mouse One with a Mac 10. They get a kill <laughs> yeah. through smoke. They, I mean, he just ATK didn't even really get to see them nope. before they were all dead. But uh, as it stands, I mean, this one is looking like it's just about over. Obviously, no investment coming through from ATK in this round means that it's going to be map point for pain unless something wild happens here. Swisher's D about to pop off. Okay, all right. Bowden dead. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. There was a moment. <laughs> like there was a half second of hope. <laughs> hope has been extinguished. It's gone. Nice tap even for Mistim, but just not going to yeah. have enough killing power there. Those were a couple of nice frags, and under normal circumstances, you find those with the USPs early on, you get some rifle upgrades, but Payne just had the pedal to the metal, and they continued to force their way forward and ensure that if ATK got one, they would get two. And, uh, well, 15-3 in favor of Payne. 12 opportunities to close this map out, and now ATK finally on a full rifle buy-up, but it's with their backs up against the wall. Bowden, who's very good with the big green, hasn't really had a chance to flex it too much. Maybe we'll see it here on the CT side, or maybe we won't if pain ends it right here. And there we go. Nice shot for Bowden. We're going to need more of that because he's lost missed him in the same breath in there. Moto smoke? No, they're not quite challenging that. I thought the flashbangs would tip them off, but Big Guzera catches a kill on Fady. Now it's just a library player. He has erased the site presence. And this is a dire situation for ATK. MOTM has had a quiet game. I think he's got maybe one kill. Uh, it's going to need to be a step up from MOTM. He's already found another. So there we go. If this is going to happen, he's got to be the key. Swisher is so low. So low. And they don't have kits, John. They don't even have the luxury of a kit. They got to go. They got to go quick. They don't mm -hmm. have util. They don't have 
anything working in their favor. It's dire. Just about the game. That Molotov might ruin them. That Molotov might ruin them. Now Swisher has to do it all himself. He can't get out. He can't get past him. OTM can't join him. He'll have to brave the flames to do so. He's stuck. It's all it's over. over. They don't have it on the clock, and now they won't have it on their lives either. What a dominating victory from Payne to take map one.